what I was thinking about like when you said about like, oh, I didn't like that because and all that, but that's something that you know artists always go through. Yeah. You know, it's like, and then you go, somebody goes, oh, I love that, and you go, oh, really? Yeah. You know. And by the way, um, Raxelian's also an artist and um, comic artist. I was creative. starting to wonder that. Yeah. I was, I was about to ask oh, that. I'm, I'm, I haven't released anything. I'm, I, you know, so I'm, I'm, wor I'm working on stuff. I'm working on stuff. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the dungeon. I'm in the dungeon. You know. Um, you well, gotta start. That's all you gotta do. I have wanted to day. do comics for like thirty years, yeah. and I have done murals. I've painted cars. I've painted tons of commissions. I have yeah. done book covers. I've done children's books. And I have some of those comics. I've done covers, covers for other people's comics. Before I met them. <laughs> and I've never done a single comic. Yeah. And I thought. Until now. Screw it. Just do one. And the feeling of getting it done is amazing. I don't yeah. care if it's yeah. sold 10 copies or five yeah. copies, but I got it done. Wow. Yeah. And luckily, it's selling okay too. Well, it's sold out. Yeah, yeah. First one's sold out. The second one's more than half sold. Yeah, and it's self-published. And it's self-published, so I get full control. Yeah, nice, nice. It's not that much if you like. I I have a normal job, so all I have to do is yeah. save up yeah. for a couple of months and do I a couple of jobs for me and pay for it myself. <laughs> and I don't have to worry about Auckland? anything else. <laughs> it's just one of the reasons yeah. it's in black and white. So. Yeah. That's uh, I mean, that, that's interesting because I, I remember you you were on with a mate of yours and we're talking about sort of color versus really? black and black and white and sort of the cost point, um, the price point, what have you. I mean, um, talk a little bit about that sort of. It, it, I mean, if if money if you know, expenses weren't an issue, would you have it in color or do you prefer sort of things in black and white? I don't know because I grew up on 2000 AD um, Conan. I grew up, I loved Conan. I liked some of the old Punisher black and whites. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't actually have anything against black and white art. I actually, yeah. there's a lot of black and white artists that I love and I wouldn't want to see their work in yeah. color. Sure. Especially, um, especially Conan stuff, that friggin' old stuff. So I am, I am in both camps. If I yeah. decided, like, like I said, I might do a space one in the future. For that character, I think that needs to be bright and colorful. I think it almost needs to be for the space one. Yeah, the space character I think needs to be. Do you have any samples? Even more simplified. I think I need to do it, make it look like an animated cartoon. Okay. I think I need to make it bright and colorful hmm. because it's my ideas are very goofy and very cheesy. So it, it needs to be lighthearted, and I think the color would add to that. And sure. here's a guy yeah. who watch, who who loves horror is going light and goofy. Yeah, it might still have some violence in it. There. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also the thing. Like, you, like I mean, like I'm watching anime, uh, you know, like comedy. Yeah. Yet yeah. I'm writing serious shit because, you know, it's like it's like metalheads listen to classical music. Yeah. Because it's like you can't just eat the same food all the time because you no. get sick of it and you're gonna spew. So you choose something else. And I think that's the same thing. If, and and that's the difference between indie creators and the mainstream. It's like we're not eating the same political but, shit. But even in movies, yeah. there's, there's there's certain movies that yeah. will use comedy. Like there are like they deliberately put comedy into Evil Dead too. Yeah. Like they did it deliberately. But they said sometimes you 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 lull people, you mellow them down, you make them laugh a bit, and the yeah. next minute you have something yeah. jump out and scare the shit out of them. Because that's those little <laughs> little quiet moments. Yeah, it's like it's gonna make it work when you do the hardcore. It, it's 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 funny you talk about like I was watching a video on YouTube like a couple of weeks back about um, Korean horror movies. Like I'm not like you know I'm not I'm not a big Korean, I love Korean. buff, but like that they were talking about how sort of like the first sort of the starting act of a lot of these Korean horror movie, movies almost sort of starts off as like kind of like a like a light comedy, and then yeah. something sort of catastrophic horror. You know, you think of Parasite. I know that's not a horror. I haven't seen it yet. Don't spoil it. Oh, okay, but, okay. Well, I won't. I won't spoil it. But if you've seen Parasite, you know what I'm talking about. It's sort of set up like this sort of kind of fun, like heist, like you know, they're in the house, hey, 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 and then s s smash, something happens, and it's like you know, the tone completely changes, yeah. 
it's yeah. very jarring for the audience you know so that sort of you know like you said you lull people into sort of a false yeah. sense of security and then you hit them with something sort of just absolutely kind of macabre and jarring and it's it's just you know yeah and you can you can do it really deliberately too like the old robocop the 87 86 robocop yeah is, is that the one from time to die which is like that on like at the end of like issue three or four right I whatever can't remember. it's from something <laughs> <laughs> wake wake up time to die that's from uh blade oh, runner blade runner <laughs> it's freaking from blade runner i was like i knew it was some from somewhere right like yeah. seriously like time even to blade die. Runner, a serious movie yeah has light moments in it there are, there yeah. are little bits yeah. where they they just talk normally and, and and lighten it up a bit yeah but like robocop is one of the prime examples of he's using the comedy yeah to, Frank miller to um like drive home the point that this place is messed up he's got all these comedy moments in a really violent film mm. and he's kind of making it he, he's like that's robocop has got a lot more meat to it meat to it then it yeah. looks from the outside it's like oh it's just a, this guy is a robot big deal yeah. but it, it's there's a lot of stuff making fun of the um because back in the 80s when it was made it was all anti-establishment it was all commercial yeah. it was greed is good it was all i can buy right. that for a dollar. yeah so he's <laughs> really ripping on the the times when it yeah. was made yeah frank frank was really good in the, and here's the thing i've never i don't think i've ever read the comic book to robocop but that movie you know that whole series was amazing i mean like i, I um, have a robocop comic yeah. and it is way darker than the film <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Not, but it's, it's not the first one it's like a, it's that a, that film I, I'm, I'm not a big robocop buff but that film I, I i feel like struggled to sort of get like um approved wasn't wasn't there some a couple of scenes where it was like oh yeah, yeah. Um, to, like you can't we can't put this out you know I mean, I watch a lot of horror films, and I watched that not too long ago, and it is still very graphic. In the first couple of scenes, his hand gets shot off. Right, he gets, yeah. He yeah, gets shot right, the yeah. head. And yeah. um, you're thinking, oh, okay, they're not going to show it. No, they show everything. <laughs> it's True. Like, I, yeah, it's you're right. Yeah, violent. that scene... Oh, that that scene where he sort of before he becomes robocop that yeah. scene and the um i don't know what you'd call it the guy who falls into the toxic waste yeah yeah those stick with me all the time the yeah broker, like it feels like it's like something that i've seen from the robot um batman where somebody falls in acid by two faced that's the joker's origin right yeah <laughs> so yeah. like it's basically that, yeah it's, i was just thinking like it's all, yeah yeah kind of similar to, yeah man i'm like it's then you can see why was that robot uh, robocop come before the dark knight uh probably oh very similar maybe after yeah maybe after i'm not sure robocop was what er, i mean early 80s, 80s? Er, 80s early 80s. 80s i feel like dark knight came out like mid to late 80s i could be wrong um, it could be I'm very very wrong. robocop's 86. 87 that, that was sort of the, the that was sort of the the, the period right the 80s were sort of yeah. you know kind of kind of action the 80s, I mean, go, go, you know going back to what you were saying Shane, you know, the dark and goofy can can work I, I think it's pretty human i think you know humans sort of operate that way you know if they're in sort of yeah. even if you're in you know war i think a war is probably the most sort of dark you know kind of you know yeah depressing violent scenario there you think of war movies there's always sort of a string of sort of very kind of stoic humor th throughout those films yeah. you know um, I, think it, I think it's like a coping mechanism you need it right i mean yeah if you took everything that serious like if you're in an actual horror movie and you took everything seriously you'd probably be dead in 10 minutes yeah and, and this is what <laughs> or in, or insane <laughs> this is why we laugh at people who do stupid things or behave stupidly you horror so i mean i've talked about this and he freaked out about one time uh about like uh where i nearly got killed nearly got murdered right we're just what? talking something i just said like this and i nearly got murdered and how i behaved in that moment right when i had a guy towering over me and holding my hand like 
like all I could think of was defending myself against a guy. All he thought was like, I'm going to kill this dude. And all I could think was like, I had need to talk this guy down. And I, all I was doing was hold, yeah, talking this guy down with trying to protect my face. All I could think was if he hit me in my head and I'm knocked out, I'm dead because then I'm limb. I'm not going to be able to fight back. And that's why we laugh at horror movies when people behave against that. Mm. Right. They're like, you know, and we all, and that's what I think, you know, makes, doesn't make sense in horror movies when you behave against your own better judgment, you know, and, um, and it's, you know, we're looking at Dark Knight, number one came in 86. Um, so I was looking at like when, um, let me find the Robocop when that came out, comic, but like the comic, right? So with, like, I guess with like, you know, a lot of the sort of the, you know, when I think of bad sort of horror kind of movies and think laughing at things, it's like yeah. slasher films, right? And half of it is like setting up the characters so they die in the most gruesome way. And, and half the yeah. time, the way that they are set up is they someone has to do something stupid. You know, they hear a, some sort of weird noise in the, wo the, the woods and they someone goes, oh, I better check it out. You know, it's like no one's going to do yeah. that, yeah. you know. You're gonna get in your car and drive away, or zip up your tent and you know, get in your sleeping bag and hope you know, hope for the best, you know. Right. So, twelve years later, RoboCop came out. Right. So. So when did the uh, film come out? Nineteen eighty. Yeah, uh, it was eighty six, right. uh, eighty seven, right? But I, it's really weird. Like, how does that? It's like ninety. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Am I in the wrong thing here? No, no, the comics came after. Oh, right. So the mo movie came first, but it was written by Mike. Frank Miller did the second one, and he may have had some oh, input. Interesting. On the first one. Okay, I don't oh, know. I didn't know oh, he had anything I, to do with this. Here's where I'm that's wrong, cool. right? Yeah. So I always thought that he had done the friggin' first thing. No, he did the second one. Right. So it's actually not his property. I always thought it was Frank Miller's property, but it's, I'm wrong. I've been corrected and I've learned something new. <laughs> right? So it's by uh, Edward Newmere and Michael Miner. Right. So they're the ones who created Robocop. And Paul well, how, how does the, I mean, I guess the studio would own it, right? Like, I guess it's not that necessarily the script writers, they would sell the, the rights to the studio. Is that how it would work? Yeah. 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 So. Paul Verhoeven was awesome for a while. Yeah, so he did Hollow Man. Um, let me have a look at the more Dude, older Hollow ones. Man. For, boy, you know, I, I know it's not age great, but yeah. Hollow Man was horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, he was he was doing good shit. And then I don't know what happened. Somewhere. Right, he made Showgirls. Right. And that's <laughs> what <he's doing. laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> His budgets got cut after that. Yeah. Dang, he still made man. a lot of movies after that, but his budgets went down yeah. his 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 guaranteed box office was <laughs> yeah. was ruined but I always, wow. yeah it cracks me up because i always thought it was um Robo, um like robocop was frank miller's conception no, yeah. the second one's frank miller's and the second one is actually more bonkers than the first one but it's just not as wild i don't think i've seen i don't think i've seen anything other than the first one i don't think the second one has a 10 year old all... drug dealing crime boss <laughs> okay. that can't be arrested because he's underage <laughs> and, um, so it's a very sarcastic take on like the justice system and stuff yeah um it has oh, it kind of works now because like people they they, they try and make another yeah. rogue robocop so they need someone that's very dedicated and very focused so they put a criminal's brain in it <laughs> so right a, oh my goodness gracious crazy movie. yeah Thank you.